Donald Trump announcing his family leave plan. You know, Donald Trump is all about policy. And if there's one thing that people have associated with Donald Trump's campaign, it's the idea of a family leave and, and helping out the American worker. Uh, but Donald Trump's headed into the weeds with this one, folks. And basically, the plan seems to be, I'm only going to offer family leave for women. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut it uh, out of funding for unemployment insurance. And so um, suck on that for a bit. But here's how he came to realize that he uh, needed to, uh, to put out a family leave plan. Tonight, I'm going to roll out a plan to help our mothers and our families get affordable, quality child care for their children. And my daughter, Ivanka, is going to be involved. She's the one. She is the one that has been pushing for it so hard. Daddy, daddy, we have to do this. And it's true. She's very smart, and she's right. Mm. Super creepy. Now, at the policy briefing, what you should do, Mr. Trump, is force to basically say that your daughter terrorized you into coming up with a family medical leave plan. You know, that's what, the approach. Well, here's the awkward thing: is that mm. um, the one time he had uh, policy advisors all uh, assembled in a room, uh, all of them had to pitch their proposals in the same way. Daddy, daddy, yes, please. Yes, it was very awkward. <laughs> It was very, very awkward, but that's the way he liked Daddy, it to do. Daddy, could you get rid of the Volcker rule? They were. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Who's got something on the economy? Say well, Daddy, Daddy I, uh, I think that maybe um, you should come out in favor of the, the minimum wage. So we messed up, man. We're like, Daddy, Daddy, national health insurance? Yes. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Well, if you're going to ask so nicely. Yeah. All right, so let's just uh, just give you a, a brief breakdown. Uh, Donald Trump has said that um, Hillary Clinton has not offered a policy on this, and um, which I think 90% of any sentencing human beings uh, who have been aware know that it's a complete lie. No, do you think? Yeah, I know. That's true. <laughs> Most people don't realize. They don't even check. But, like, literally... Um, if you took out uh, Hillary Clinton's family leave plan, like the is like the bedrock, like her entire campaign would fall down. Like that was the bedrock of it. Um, in fact, it's conceivable that she actually outlined her plan for family leave before he entered the race. Maybe it's close. Maybe it was just maybe around the same month that he entered the race. She had already had hers written up and put on a website. She probably wrote about it in her books years ago. Um, yeah, no, it was the spring of 2015. Even, <laughs> even before she announced her president, her candidacy, she had proposed it. Wow. So um, Trump doesn't offer leave for fathers, but it would guarantee six weeks of paid maternity leave in the form of uh, unemployment insurance which is a capped at a percentage of income in many states. Clinton plan guarantees 12 weeks of family paid leave for mothers and fathers with at least two thirds of their salary. It would be paid for by raising taxes on the wealthy. Cost of childcare uh, for Trump, working parents and parents who stay at home to care for children can deduct the costs on their taxes via the earned income tax credit. The, um, Campaign estimates that middle-class families could receive a $1,200 tax break. Now, if you're low income, well, you're SOL because you're not paying probably uh, federal income uh, taxes and such that a tax credit wouldn't mean anything to you. But he also proposes a dependent care savings account that would allow the accumulation of funds and are tax deductible and appreciate tax-free. Dependent care accounts already exist, but must be used by the end of the year and only available through an employer. So all that extra money you low-income people have uh, at the end of the year, you can stick that into account that will accrue tax-free. Clinton wants to cap child care costs at 10% of a family's income. To do that, she rely on tax cuts or state block grants for the government to subsidize costs exceeding 10%. 
So uh, there you have that. Those are the two plans. But still, uh, you have uh, Republicans freaking out because he's crossed a Rubicon on some level and said, like, government should get involved in the business of helping with uh, paid family leave and child care. So in that sense, philosophically, it seems like the Republican Party has capitulated. I don't like their plan. It's bad. But as long as we're all on the same page, that philosophically, this is what should happen. We should get Walter Block on here. I'm curious as to what he thinks about that. There's a limit to how much unemployment insurance you can use. So if you were to use six weeks of it, which it's capped at some, at like $420 in New York State, which for a lot of people would be s a significant hit. Yeah. Um, you If you did lose your job, you would already be six weeks deep into, you, I mean, you would lose. Yes, but money. Kelly, let's be honest. I mean, if you've lost your job within the past year, do you really think morally you are uh, should be allowed to have a child? <laughs> no. Okay. So there you go. I mean, come on. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. I just got back from a uh, company-wide meeting. Accounting is really coming down on me hard. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So uh, please, enjoy this uh, channel. Subscribe. Right up. Right up. Down. Right down there.